In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between pass by value and pass by reference. So let's get started. In JavaScript, primitives such as Boolean, strings, and numbers are always passed by value, and array and objects are passed by reference. Passed by value means that when you pass the variable into a function, it's like you're creating a new copy that the function can modify and it will not change the original value that we passed. Modifying the variable that we passed into a function will not affect the original. So let me show you what I mean. So we have a L data. Let's print it out. And then let's create a function which is gonna be modify car L data. So if I modify the variable here, say we'll set it to B and print it out. I forgot to call the function, so let's do that. Let's refresh. And as you can see, first we print out L data, which is A. Then I call the function and it changes L data. It changes the local copy of this variable. And when you print this out, it shows B. And then when we print out and come back from the function and print out L data, it prints A again. So what that tells you is that the function did not modify the variable A, and that's called pass by value. Now let's try the same type of thing with an object. Let's create an object car with properties name Tesla year 2020. Let's print it out. Let's also create a function modify object. And this function, we're going to modify the name. And we're going to add another property color. And we'll print, print it here. And then we'll print are again. So can you guess what will happen in this case? I'll give you a second to think about it. All right, let's refresh. So what happened here? I forgot to call the function again. That's what happened. All right, let's call the function. Let's refresh again. So what happens here is we print out our car object, which is Tesla year 2020. And then we pass that object to modify object and we set the name to BMW and we add a new property that's color, which does not exist right now. As you can see, we also printed out console.log car. So it's white BMW 2020. However, the interesting part here is after we print out our car again, the original object that we passed, the properties got changed. And why is that? Well, that's because objects and arrays are passed by reference. Meaning, when you pass the object into the function, what you're actually doing is you're passing the memory address of the original object, which is here. So whatever properties you modify here of that object, it's gonna be overridden here. Here's one thing to watch out for. You would think if you set the object to an empty object or something else, it would actually change the original, right? But if you refresh right here, you see this object did not change. It's not empty. The reason for this is because what you're actually doing is you're changing the reference from this car to an empty object. So you change the properties of the car here and then this car no longer references this object at the top here. It's actually referencing this empty 
objects. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And the same principles apply for arrays as well. So remember that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you soon.